One morning, the tram engine was looking glum. It had been some time since he pulled passengers with Henrietta. All he could do was watch the others taking coats of the public railway. Just then, Gordon pulled him to a siding to get a drink. Oh, hello, Gordon. You pulling the express today, said Trooper. Who else but me? asked Gordon. You get to pull the passengers, so do the others. We haven't pulled some since... Well, not since the Zin tram we closed all, said Trooper. Then he remembered. It was back in the good new and hoop days. We had a line and used to have nine trucks till we pulled four. Henrietta had a lot of people. They still remembered us, but we stopped coming back. And the good new hoopties were poof. It would be nice if it were running again, sighed Trooper. Like having my barbs line. Ugh, said Gordon, taking the Zin tramway as another hard course. I too wish to be stuck again. Big engines like me find it painful. Emu B was not good back then. Zin engines I heard from you were not nice, but you were lucky not to join them in a museum. You'd be miserable as them. Zin tramway must be good if the fat can can convince them, as he cares for the main line. He steamed off, not wanting the shame of it. Thomas came up. He saw Trooper looking dismayed. What's the matter? he asked. Oh, just missing being useful, said Trooper. But if I could just have some work to do, Thomas smiled. Why don't you take that train of building surprise for me? he suggested. Therefore, for the extension on a line, I'll collect the second troop of early as you take it. Troop chirped up with the offer, who the extension was used to him as he wondered what it was on. Come on, troop, said his driver. We'll take the trucks to give you a nice run. Troop, troop, coupled himself onto the train then took it to the extension.
But as he steamed to Tala on the main line, he couldn't stop thinking on what Gordon had said. In Sheffield, Asa was filming. Yes, Thomas, I'm exhausted. He'll be here soon, soothed his driver. But we must remind him not to spoil the surprise. Asa was puzzled. What surprise? He asked. But before he could answer, troop came up. Over the building surprise person. What are you doing here? Snap Percy. I'm sorry. I was offered to help in the extension. Is there anything else I could do? Passive by the chain of some scrap wood of logs, boxes, and twigs waiting on a long siding. You can take those trucks to the forest railway. He cried. The train looked heavy, but he agreed to help. So he crossed the junction, called a backwards R, to let Percy put the trucks behind it and him. Oh, he had to push them all the way back to where he rested in.
It was a long race who he stopped to get a drink. While he drank, the trucks were plotting a trick on him. As soon as he finished, his driver hooped the regulator, and then they began bumping him forward, which got him caught off guard. As he went rocketing towards the junction, he saw Percy dead ahead on his tracks. Watch out, Percy! cried Troopy. but he didn't hit him. He swerved to the left, vanishing through some bushes. Picked hard while shutting his eyes, and at last he came to a stop in front of a station and a shed next to the village of Zion. When he opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy came up behind his train. You all right, Toopy? he said. Toopy was bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is the Zian Tramway, I once stayed in. And look, there's my shed. I never thought I'd see it again, he said.
Thomas came up with the workman. Getting off his cab was the fat controller. He spoke sternly to him. You should know not to give me a headache when crashing through a roof sign. That's the second time you've done it, he said. I'm sorry, sir. I really wanted to help, said Trooper. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad you didn't damage yourself. Oh, it's a shame you spoiled your surprise, said the fat Trooper. Trooper was puzzled. My surprise, sir? Yes, Trooper. This extension is in fact a restoration by connecting the Zine tramway to Tala and the main line and these engines from the museum are cleaning the tracks who you wouldn't get them caught in your pistons explained the fat control they apologize for being <coughs> pressure bugs as the two haven't been far. Troop couldn't believe it. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. He said, "Chaffly." When the scene trembled was complete. He had the passengers, who and knew, to take the first ride. The two were pleased to see it running again. The troop. It seemed the good loot days were hard to stay. <laughs>